Hey guys, uh, today we're going to keep working with your cartoon. So hopefully you've kind of been following along. Hopefully you made a cartoon you and then hopefully you made um, a character to go with your cartoon. Oh, I made the art monster. Um, so today we're going to make a comic. So a comic is um, like a short cartoon, but instead of being animated, it's uh, goes box by box by box. I'm sure most of you have seen cartoon um, comics before, but if you haven't seen comics before, that's kind of what it is. Um, so the way it'll work is you'll draw out boxes for each like moment um, or scene of your little narration, your little story, whatever you want to do with your um, art you or your cartoon you and your um, other character you made. And then you'll draw in um, and color. So I kind of already started brainstorming what I wanted to do. Um, so I didn't spend forever trying to think about what I was going to make in front of you guys on the video. So mine is me thinking about what I should make for art. And then there's this big loud voice from behind me and it goes, I can help. And I'm startled because I'm apparently alone in my cartoon. And I say, who is that? And then he's like, I'm the art monster. And so there is the art monster. Um, and I'm like, what? And then I'm like, okay, well, let's get started. And then the last um, little one is us painting the picture together. So super simple. These do not need to be complicated at all. Um, I will kind of go through this. Um, step by step. I already have my idea so it makes it way easier. Um, I kind of brainstormed it before this but if you need to spend time to think about what you want your idea to be don't worry if that takes a long time to come up with your idea or exactly what you want your idea to be. Your comics don't need to be long. Um, really it's up to you. I would say at least probably three squares right because smaller than that you're not gonna be able to show too much um, but you can do as many as you want um, make them as detailed as you want. They do include words. So when you do that, include thought bubbles, word, bu word, bleh, word bubbles. You could focus on one character than the other, so you don't have to draw them both in the same one. Um, you can do up close, so you don't have to worry about drawing the whole character. Whatever you need to do to make it easy for you to accomplish this. And then once you finish your comic strips, um, you draw them out. You make them so I can see them good, color them, add as many details as you want, make them look nice, finished, complete. Then please upload them to Art Sonia. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I kind of already told you what I was thinking. I find it on the bottom of um, this art monster sheet. So it's kind of, let's paper so you can see it. So I kind of already planned it out, sketched it out. I'm going to do it big on here though. Um, Traditionally, comics are done in like boxes or rectangles, but you can kind of switch it up if you'd rather um, do it different shapes, then you can do that. I am not picky at all. Um, if you have a ruler, that helps to draw those straight lines. Otherwise, you can use the edge of a notebook, the edge of a book, anything that has a straight edge um, to help you draw those lines. And if you don't have anything with a straight edge, that's fine. You can kind of freehand it, which is what I did when I practiced. Um, so mine ended up with six, so I kind of want to split this into six. Um, so easiest way probably to do that is to measure. My paper is about nine inches across, so half of nine is four and a half. So I'm just going to mark here. I'm going to do the same on the bottom or the other side. Just turn it around, four and a half. And I'm not being perfect, perfect here. I just want to get roughly where the half are. So I need to know that my paper is going to be, that the top three need to be above that line where I put those marks and the bottom three need to be below that. Um, and then I need to split this into three. It's exactly 12. 12 divided by three is four. So four and eight. And I'm going to scoot down towards the bottom and do the same thing. So now I know that my rectangles need to fit in that. Now, you don't have to do all of them the same size. So some comics will have like one big rectangle and then a bunch of little squares. Um, and you can search um, like comic strip templates online. And there are a bunch of different ways that you can do this. I'm going to keep mine all about the same size just to make this easy. Um, 
but you can, of course, change it up. Okay, so I'm leaving a small gap where I want that border to be there in the middle. All right, so there's my six rectangles. I started freehanding it there at the end. The ruler was getting complicated. You could just do one square, two square, three square, four square, five square. However many you need might be easier. That's what I did for the practice one. It took way less time. And um, so I know it's really hard to see, but my lines are a little crooked, but I don't think it looks bad. So if you want to spend the time to make it super nice, go for it. Um, but don't feel like you have to make your borders and everything so perfect. Um, just gonna some of those pencil lines. And then we'll get started. Okay, so in the first square, I'm doing me thinking. Um, so kind of leaning on one hand, trying to think about what I should make. So. So thought bubbles usually make it look kind of like clouds. Um, and actual word bubbles will usually be smooth lines. Add in a thought bubble here. And I'm gonna put, what should I make? Do a little dot, dot, dot. Not there's a pause between what I say or what I think next, and then I'm gonna put, I can't think of anything. And if it helps to write your words first and then put the bubble around it, you can. Now you make sure you have enough room. I can't think of anything. <clears throat> All right, so this one's up close, kind of more in my face. From behind me, there's a voice. I don't know it yet, but it's the art monster. And he says, or she says, the art monster says, I can help. So I'm supposed to look shocked or surprised. So I'm gonna make my eyes a little tiny in the middle. So this little line right here indicates where it's coming from, where this, this word bubble is coming from, and it's coming from off the edge. So we can't see it in this. And I'm shocked, and surprised, and confused. Now this one, I'm gonna to switch to the art monster. You won't see me. Um, it's just going to be the art monster saying he's the art monster. He's gonna look great big.
he's going to say, I am the, and then I think I'm going to bring this bubble down. I'm doing this a little different than the little one. Art, and then I'm going to spell monster going down because I kind of didn't space it good. And add him a little splat up here. Sorry if you guys can see that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come back down here and he's going to be huge next to little me. And I'm going to look up at him kind of shocked and confused still. Um, but more just like pausing. <clears throat> okay, so the next one I'm gonna be like, let's get started then. Um, all excited. So he won't be in it. The art monster won't be in it. It's just gonna be me. This one I'm giving a jagged edge because it's almost like I'm shouting it. So it's exciting. Well, let's get started then. All right, and then the last little picture is just gonna be me and the art monster um painting and it's gonna be a huge painting because uh art monster is huge so i'm just gonna scribble some things in it's not gonna be super detailed so the art monster is going to kind of be behind me. So I'll draw me first. He's gonna be looking down at me, happy that we are painting. Not him, his splat on his head. He's a messy art monster. And there we go. So I'm gonna quickly trace over everything with Sharpie pen. Um, I will fast forward it and show you the final product. And then that's it. I hope you guys try to do your own
All right, so that is the final product. Um, I'm just gonna erase real fast, just to get rid of the pencil lines. Um, and then I'll flip my camera so you can see it um, through the computer camera, because I feel like that turns out a little bit better than the document camera sometimes. And then that's it, that's my comic. Um, I might add color. Uh, if you want to add color, definitely add color. I think um, it'd be nice to have a really colorful art monster. And especially in the last picture while we're painting, it'd be nice to show the colors of that picture that we're making. Um, but it is completely up to you. You can do black and white. I did already kind of shade in the areas that I would want black. So like my apron, um, the inside of the mouth, the eyes. If you don't have paper and pencil, you guys can try to do this digitally. So um, there are drawing apps on your iPad. You could do it in Keynote. However, you can figure out how to do it. Um, just come up with a story for whatever your character was. So if your character was a superhero, maybe you guys are saving, um, in the day some way if your character was a friend maybe the two of you are playing a game if um your character was an animal or a magical unicorn or i don't know um whatever it was try to come up with a good story to go with it um to kind of create your comic so once again here's mine um there we go. So once again, me thinking, him saying he can help, saying he's the art monster. I'm like, uh, and then I get excited and then we make some art. So um, that's that. I hope you guys try it. I hope you make it. I'd love to see it on Art Sonia. Um, you don't have to do it this big. You don't have to do this many. You could do way more if you want to do this. You could do each square as your own page, however you want to make it. Um, I'd love to see it. Thanks, guys. Bye.